Hello friends God bless you and um I was reading 1 Samuel chapter 31 and I have read it so many times but this time uh the first six verses caught my eye it it it, it is about how king Saul died but my attention went to that with king Saul his three sons Jonathan Abinadab and Malkishua three sons also died now we know that David uh, sorry king Saul was full of jealousy for David and i believe that that jealousy led him to to this point where he died and with him his three sons died bible talks about that the sin grows and it produces the death jealousy is so so subtle but it produces the deadly consequences in king james version there are nearly hundreds of uh, verses or scriptures that talks about jealousy both in combined old and new testament now the soul died and and before that battle through medium he is aware that he is going to die he has no victory in this battle then why he took his sons with him he knew that what is going to happen why he did not try to try to save his three sons and when i started unpacking and uh, i prayed and tried to understand what is happening how deadly jealousy is i started reading from first samuel chapter 18 particularly 18 has a really beautiful uh, beginning it's the beginning of the the roots of jealousy or the how the seeds are planted there was a battle and 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 um and and Saul heard king Saul heard that Saul has killed 1000 and David has killed 10000 and that was the beginning of the seeds of jealousy and he that jealousy led him to fear if you read uh, some 18 and 20 it talks about that um he was now fearful of of david that he will lose his kingdom he forget that god has selected soul not because he was some special but god has selected it was a gift he was the first king of israel god selected him and gave israel as a gift to him to rule over so he should understand that regardless how many um, praise david receives it's god only can can take and give uh, take away or give the kingdom nobody else and he was given and chosen by god he was anointed he was given a new heart he was considered among the prophet he forget everything jealousy blinds the person from everything the truth the truth that he still is chosen by god the truth that he was given a new heart the truth that he was count among the prophets everything he cannot see anymore and it was replaced by fear bible talks about that he tried to kill david with his spear and uh, th- uh, three other times also he tried to kill david and that jealousy led him even with the with the with the doubt and suspicion and he even killed the the priest of the most high god his own family turns against him he was angry with his daughter because david was married to his daughter and daughter tried to save david if you read 1 Samuel chapter 
David tried to kill his own son, Jonathan. He is so blinded that he forget the truth what God has said about him. He, he, he forgot that he forget that he is, Micah is her daughter and, and, and Jonathan is son. And now everything is replaced by fear and is blindsided. He cannot see nothing. And now the battle comes. And then battle, battle comes and through medium he is aware that he is going to die. This battle he is not going to win. But he's so blinded by jealousy. The, the seed that were planted, a small seed of jealousy, has put the deep roots in David's heart. He was completely blinded now. He cannot see. He lost his all resources and respect. He, he runs after David like nothing else. He lost his peace and joy and, and everything. Everything was stripped away from him because now jealousy has become a big tree. I don't know whether he told Jonathan, Abinadab and Melchishua, his sons, about what is going to happen tomorrow. Bible doesn't say about it. But somehow we know that his three sons are going with Saul in the battle. And if you read the story, King Saul committed suicide. And along with him, his three sons died who had done absolutely nothing. They had no envy with, with David. Actually, Jonathan was loving David as a brother. There was no envy, any uh, jealousy or enmity or anything between them. But still he died. Jonathan died. As a, as a result of envy and jealousy, his father was carrying jealousy so simple seed but if it is not attended corrected right when it happens it can put it can get the deep roots and the consequences of the results could be very deadly I hope if if Holy Spirit has highlighted something to you to you today and if you have a slightest seed of jealousy I believe that God is merciful and if we go and correct and ask, ask God to, to free us from jealousy, He will, He will. Because unattended, the seeds of jealousy can take deep roots and bring the devastation in life. I hope God has challenged you and God has blessed you today. Thank you.